Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for Simus' Stamp. Today I'm going to be using the box and ribbon gift card die set as well as the prismatic snowflake stamp set to create a couple really easy and simple gift card holders. And the thing that's awesome about this particular die set is that once everything's assembled, it's the exact size as an A2 card and fits in an A2 envelope. So I'm using some soft navy cardstock to cut out the gift card base using that die. And I also used schoolhouse red cardstock. Both of these cardstocks are sold by Simus' Stamp. It's their cardstock line. I then have some glitter paper. This is silver glitter paper from Simon. And I've cut out the three ribbon pieces twice since I have two gift card holders that I'm making today. I've used pretty thick paper to cut the actual cards today, and so I'm going to reinforce the score line that the die left behind just to make sure I don't have any cracking cardstock. So I'm just scoring at three and one quarter. Uh, you can definitely see the score line that the die leaves behind just in case you don't remember that measurement. And then I folded over the cards and creased them on the fold with my bone folder. And I'm going to be stamping on the front of these cards while they're flat. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of washi tape inside just to help hold it closed while I work. Placing the card into my Misty Stamp Positioning Tool. And I'm going to position the stamps from the Prismatic Snowflake Stamp Set. I'm going to position them so they go off the edge, off the top, which is the fold right now, and also off the right side. I'm going to stamp the, the entire pattern of snowflakes in two segments. This first segment has the snowflakes going off the top and going off the side. Prepped the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool, and then I'm stamping the snowflakes in Versamark ink. Versamark is a great ink for stamping and then heat embossing because it stays sticky for a long time, so you don't have to rush too much with your embossing powder. Speaking of my embossing powder, I'm using a coffee filter to catch the powder as I work today, and I'm using silver ultra fine embossing powder from Simon. Sprinkling that onto my card, uh, making sure to get all the different areas, and once I have all the powder applied, I can tap pretty strongly on my cardstock and it kicks off all the excess powder. Use my heat tool to heat set the silver embossing powder until it was completely melted. And I have the first section of my snowflakes stamped. So now I'm leaving the snowflake stamps inside my Misty. It's on the door of my Misty, and I'm going to stamp the red card now. So this is the way you can make a bunch of these gift card holders in one sitting. You just die cut them all at once, and then you can stamp them all at once as well. Just put the snowflakes in your in your Misty and keep them there for all of your different cards. So I'm repeating the same steps for the red card base, including heat setting it until that silver embossing powder is smooth and melted. I then opened up the card and now I'm going to be stamping off that top edge and off the side once again, but my card is turned upside down so I can get the section I haven't stamped previously. I'm going to do the same thing I did before and that I'm going to first stamp one of the cards um, and prep the, the area first, stamp in Versamark ink, and then apply the embossing powder. I'm going to do the exact same thing and then also leave the snowflake stamps in the Misty so that I can stamp the blue card as well. Sprinkling on that embossing powder and then I'll heat set this until it's smooth and melted. So I'm left with this snowflake pattern going all the way across the front of my card and it leaves that really pretty silver shine on those snowflakes. So here are both cards. I'm going to put the leftover embossing powder away. I'm just cupping that coffee filter like a taco and funneling the, all the powder back into the jar. I'm now taking the glitter ribbon pieces that I cut earlier and I'm using some Simus' Stamp glue to put these on. And I like to use a glue like this when I'm adhering pieces of die cuts like this so that I have a little bit of time to wiggle the die cut around and get it in the right position. So when you position that vertical bar, you want the tapered section at the top of your card at the fold and then 
uh, you're going to glue on the tails of the bow and then put a little bit of glue in the center of the bow and a little bit on the bottom of the ears on the little bow, the loops, because those sections actually touch the card base. So it's just going to stabilize the, the bow since it hangs off the top edge. So I'm gonna put my acrylic block on that to hold it down. And then now you can put your gift card inside. And the thing that's awesome about this gift card die is that it cuts the perfect size for a standard gift card and it's pretty snug. I would recommend putting your gift card in by sliding it in from the bottom so that you don't bend back those little half circles so that it keeps the gift card in there very, very snug and it's not going to move around when you send your card. Another really good thing about this uh, die set, and I mentioned it earlier, is that once it's all assembled, your card still fits into an A2 sized envelope. So I'm gonna slide this in here, this silver metallic envelope from Simon. And when you do this, I would recommend putting in just a spare piece of cardstock that's cut to an A2 card and just slide that behind the card. That's gonna make it stable behind that bow. You can use just any scrap piece of cardstock you have. And now it's ready to be mailed. And when your recipient takes it out of the envelope, they take it out and open it up and there's a gift card. And you can write a message on the top inside of the gift card holder. So those are my cards for today. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can dress up all of those gift cards you're planning to give during this coming up holiday season. You can get all of the supplies I've used today, including the dyes, the paper, the glitter paper, over at simonsystamp.com. Thanks so much for watching today, and I will see you guys in another video very soon.